Each weekend of the summer, you can find something going on at the Plymouth waterfront. In July, indigenous artists and musicians from across the globe came together in Plymouth for the Native Arts and Cultures Bazaar. The booths were filled with beautiful and artistic crafts, clothing, and art. PCN met up with the organizer to learn more. We are here at a Cultural Survival Bazaar at Pilgrim Memorial State Park in Plymouth, Massachusetts. Um, Cultural Survival is an indigenous rights organization based out of Cambridge, Mass and um, we do projects uh, supporting the rights of indigenous peoples all over the world. One of our programs is the bazaars, um, and we've been doing these since 1982 in the greater Boston area. It's a celebration of indigenous arts and cultures. Um, indigenous peoples tend to be some of the most marginalized groups, um, and this is just an incredible opportunity to celebrate their cultures, their languages, their traditions, um, of which many people are unaware until they come to one of these events. We have arts from many different continents. We have wire and bead from Zimbabwe. We have um, Native American jewelry. Um, we have flutes. We have sculptures. We have um, pottery and um, Uzbek paintings that are painted on hundreds of years old paper. Um, so really, we have paintings from Guatemala. Really all different types of art. I think um, a lot of people come to Plymouth and are interested in Plymouth because of its particular history and so I think it's just such a great opportunity to have this event right here and um, and remember and celebrate and learn about and expose people to um, the history and the current cultures of indigenous peoples who were here for thousands of years and still are before the Europeans arrived. Uh, this sculpture that I'm holding I started uh, doing wire sculptures when I was a boy it started as a, a, a hobby. Uh, during my time, toys used to be very expensive. So we used to make our own toys, like your own car. So you fetch a, a coat hangers from anywhere else. Then you make your car. Then uh, you put a steering wheels, start driving. So you don't have to bother your parents saying, buy me toys and whatever. So since then, I was good on making these things, as you can see. Um, so I, I, I end up uh, getting some requests from people saying, can you make this for me? And I end up making so many things uh, for people. That's when I started uh, doing it as a business. So now, to me, it's a business. We are very strong supporters of cultural survival because over the years, we have found them to be a truly great organization that does what they say. They say they support indigenous people, they say that they support cultures, and they actually do that work. And we've seen evidence of it on our home reservations. We've seen what they do for people. We've seen evidence of all of the good works that they've done around the world. This is one of those events that it's really great to bring families out. There's something here for little children to learn. There's something here for people who have seen everything in the world. There's gonna be pieces that they've not seen before. And every artist that's here loves to talk to people and help educate.